Hello, my name is David Kersley, a certified SOLIDWORKS application engineer with Go Engineer. In this video, we will be editing a smart component configurator table. This table will select the configuration of the end cap needed by using the pipe diameter ranges and select an end cap with the proper internal diameter. In our assembly, we've already created a smart component, these end caps, but we've added a new pipe. So let's talk about how we go in and edit that configurator table. First, let's go look at our part. So if we look at the end cap, let's open up the end cap file. We can see that we already have several end caps. I've gone ahead and added this one, 158 or one and five eighths. If I click on it, the end cap is adjusted to its correct size. But I need to edit the configurator table. So when we drag this component over the pipe, it knows which size end cap to get. And it's a little tricky to find. First, let's go back to our uh, feature manager design tree. In our feature manager design tree, one of the first common places to look is under mate references, but it's not there. At the very top of our feature tree, there's a little white folder with a yellow lightning bolt called Smart Feature. Right click on it. Edit in defining assembly. Left mouse click here. This will now open up our part. We're going to say yes to the um, pop up there. And over on the top right, we'll see a little tab that has now appeared. If I can, I can drag him around and I'm going to say edit definition. Now, if I hit the question mark, SOLIDWORKS kind of brings up a little help menu. Okay. This isn't what we're looking for. We actually want to click on edit definition. So left mouse click it. Notice that our part turns blue. The part turned blue is now corresponding to this smart component right here. Now, if you open yours and it looks like this, don't worry. Hit the down arrow to the right of auto size. We want to uh, look for this button here. So left mouse click and put a check mark by diameter. If you'll remember, we have to size this inside face to the outside pipe, outside diameter of the pipe. So here, hit this inside face. And now notice that the configurator table is accessible. Before, let me clear that selection, it was grayed out. I couldn't click on it. I have to pick this inside face. Now pick configurator table and there's our tolerance range. Okay, I've gone ahead, put in the 1.6. You can type in whatever value you need here and here and hit OK. Hit the green check and exit the file. It'll ask you, do you want to save? Save all. Rebuild and save the document. Now I'm going to go, go ahead and close out of the end cap file. And when I go back to my assembly, I'm going to open up my little library here. I'm going to drag this end cap over and it's going to grab my pipe. Oop. I'm going to flip the directionality of the mate. I'm going to say OK. And I will continue to go ahead and mate in the parts. So this has been David Kersley with Go Engineer. I hope you found this SOLIDWORKS tutorial helpful. Please check out our Go Engineer YouTube library or visit our website to enroll in classes near you at goengineer.com.